Welcome colleagues, uh, this is a retreatment of an upper molar as you can see, MB1 and MB2 are present and uh, there are some remnants of Gutta Percha. And as you can also see is uh, there is a dentine bridge between these both canals and um, there are uh, some remnants of Gutta Percha under this bridge. Um, it would have been easy to remove the bridge with ultrasonic uh, but uh, that would have meant um, that I would have sacrificed um, a lot of sound in time. On roots or on Nexus, I don't r r remember exactly where it was, there was a discussion how important it is to remove such tiny remnants. But you will see um, uh, a few uh, seconds later that there is a lot of debris and a lot of gutta percha which was under this in time bridge. So I think it is very important uh, to go that extra mile and remove this gutta percha with a micro debrider, with uh, ultrasonic tips or whatever you have. This is only a short sequence of a um, one hour lecture I will do in the future um, about this whole treatment, about this whole retreatment of this upper molar. And you can see now um, I irrigate it with um, sodium hypochlorite and then I have used uh, the Pro Ultra ultrasonic tip to loosen more remnants, to loosen more debris and um, you will see how much debris comes out of these both canals. Um, and you will see in the next picture uh, that there is a huge, a huge part um, of Gutta Percha which was um, covered by this dentine bridge, but I managed it to remove it without um, the need to remove um, the sound dentine of this dentine bridge. Thank you for your attention and uh, I hope we will see us um, at the whole lecture in a few weeks, I hope. Thank you and goodbye.